So hello everybody and welcome to another Retro Games for Cheaters with me, Supernautus. And this time out we're playing Knights of the Round. It's the 1994 Super Nintendo release of Capcom's great arcade hack and slash game. Uh, we're playing this with infinite health, uh, lives, energy, etc. Continues and that sort of thing. Um, it's a beat em up game, what else can I really say? Uh, with three characters, you can play as King Arthur. Uh, you can play as Lancelot, or Percival, I believe. Um, and here we go. Our Merlin's telling us about the Grail. As the king, we must find it and use it to unify Britain under our rule. Fight as one, brave man, and together you shall find it. He says. Here we go. Knights of the Round. One player start. And I'm going to play as... Uh, let's play as Percival. He's got more power. Not too concerned about his speed. When we've got infinite health. It's stage one. It's a village on fire. Doesn't look like it's on fire to me. He fights with an axe. Should get through enemies a bit quicker playing as him as well. Although he seems to be having some trouble hitting anybody at the moment. So yeah, you have your regular attack, which is that. You have a special attack, which is kind of a sweeping axe attack. And that's the first part of the first stage done, I think. Uh, we level up our character and get better armor by... Well, not, it appears not by defeating enemies, necessarily. You don't really get points for doing that. Now and again, you do like that one. You got 160 points. But by smashing the barrels, we pick up gold and other things which help us to level up. And that kind of is what we do. First challenge is a guy called Scorn. We've already taken off like a, what, a quarter of his health. Uh, so because we've got infinite energy, I can repeatedly spam that attack if I wanted to. He's Scorn. He's scorning me. One more hit should do it. Or maybe not. There we go. Scorn! Defeated! Percival wins. Good on you, old Percy. We've got some bonus points for that. We've reached level two. What does that do for us? Not a great deal. A desperate fight! You notice, by the way, that village wasn't on fire. They must have used all that water to get rid of it. Village on fire! Not really. That's an interesting uh, idea, isn't it? We'll say the village is on fire, but then we won't go on fire in the, in the final game. Um, a lot of comparisons between this and the arcade version. You know, gameplay-wise, isn't necessarily quite as good as the arcade version, although the, the audio, I think, is quite nice in comparison. The music is really nice. As a lot of Super Nintendo music was, though, to be fair, I mean, one thing I would say with the Super Nintendo was the, the sound reproduction was very good. Sometimes in comparison to the Mega Drive slash Genesis, although it also had some, let's be honest, some great audio as well. For a lot of games. It's just not... I always felt this was... This system was just a little bit better for audio quality. I'm sure a lot of people will disagree. <laughs> I'm not here to start any arguments, I promise. I'm just here to play some good games. And some not so good games sometimes too. I'll admit that. Sometimes the games we play aren't great. If we can smash that, that'd be nice. We are close to leveling up again. This masked man. Who is this masked man? 
we leveled up. It hasn't really changed as much. I know that with Arthur, his armor gets bigger. When you're ready, barricade down. But yeah, so leveling up is a case of scoring points. We'll see how we do. We're past this part of this stage. Moving on. The only thing that is kind of annoying with having the invincibility turn on, turned on is you are flashing all the time. You are. Oh, he's not on his horse anymore. Hey, can I jump on the horse? Oh, I can. I can fight him from horseback. Ah, you'll wish you hadn't given up your horse, your, your horse, Brafford. Let's be having you. You can't turn the horse round, though. Oh, you can. By pressing the jump button, you can turn the horse round. just going to kick you off the horse though so you're as well just forgetting about the horse really. I don't know that it does a great deal more damage being on the horse than it does fighting him normally. There we go. Oh no, I thought I'd killed him with that last shot but no. That's how to fix him. Fixed his wagon. He just had a horse. But that's why, you see, because his wagon was broken. I mean, you know, that's all we were doing for him, really. We were fixing his wagon. Okay, we've leveled up again. I think our battle at the castle fort, I think all that really happened there is our, our armor piece seems to grow longer along his arm when we level up. So what about level 4? Because it's pretty much covering his whole arm. I suppose he might have a gauntlet. We'll just see how his armour improves. One hit on Birdman took him down almost immediately. Took him about halfway down anyway. One sword man finished. And another Birdman to do. In the end... He was just as easy to defeat as all the rest of them. Oh, we've got some assistants, some knights following to help us out. I see. Little bird man. Oh, I could use that if I could get to it. Right, take that, jump on the horse. Or don't, it's up to you, I suppose. He'd not jump on the horse if he wanted to. I prefer it if he did. Oh, we can jump by dashing, like pressing forward twice. Skywalker, hang on. Are you allowed to call a character that? He's stolen my horse. Get off my horse, you buster. That's actually his name, so it doesn't feel weird calling him that, you know? Bird man. It looks like the horse never goes away. Go on, Skywalker, off you go. Kind of looks like a, a medieval strider. Maybe that's what they were going for. Mask Man. That's all his name is. Just Mask Man. And the horse got a little upset there. Doesn't like being hacked at. It's not really surprising. I don't suppose very many uh, creatures do like being hacked at. We didn't have to smash down the gate, at least. Can't use our special attack. Well, we've got rid of the horse now. Can't use our special attack while we're on the horse, but... Oh, more enemies come in. Let's bust her ass. 
Anyone else? Yep, more enemies. What's Buster F? His brothers come along to help us out. His big brother was annoyed that we defeated his... His colleague. I just said he was his brother, so maybe I should uh, double down on that, right? Old bird man. Oh, he didn't die. It, it, he looked like he had no health left. But he didn't die. When am I going to hit level 5? Not far away, actually. Just a pity that I can't get rid of that guy. Now we did. I should have got more points for killing these enemies. It would be so much easier. Who's this guy? Tall man! I mean, he's not much taller than us, is he? I suppose he's relatively tall, but... Are we playing, um... The game, the film I can't remember the name of for some reason right now. <laughs> it's the tall man! From Phantasm, that's the movie series I was thinking of. have the special edition version of that which has the big ball the big silver ball well it's just a plastic ball it's not very exciting we're close to 80,000 which means we're close to leveling up again there we go we've leveled up what's it actually done for me not a great deal magician looks like the macho man Randy Savage oh yeah Snap into a magic spell. I don't know. Level 5. And now we've got a guy with a big... A big spiky mace. Buster F. With a spiky mace of doom. Next. Oh, someone dropping chests on us. Got more people coming out through the. Let's just use this to get rid of them so that we can get through the door eventually. Come on. Buster F now and the fat man, it says. Next. And Skywalker, but he's wearing his purple pajamas today. Anyone else? Or can we move? Looks like we can go. What are you sending tigers around for? I mean, come on. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be risking tigers' lives like that. Whatever would Joe say? Probably not a lot. Sorry, I should say just something. Oh, the Silver Emperor! We, at last we meet. Your empire of silver is no more. He's actually quite tough because he stays out of our range a lot of the time. But not tough enough that we can't beat him. Except it says his name there is Arlon. Did it say Arlon on the screen before and I just wasn't looking? It's the Macho King look. He kind of has a, that kind of look to him. I've defeated Arlon. And I'm ready for the next battle. Wait, is this it? We've reached the throne room of doom. Seven minutes it took us to clear that stage. Have we done enough to level up again? We have. It didn't really do much to us. I'm sure the other characters there. Armour improves. The Knights Tournament, stage four. Let's fight. We've got to get the flag. We've got to capture the flag, guys. It's just a big capture the flag element. 
that's fine. We need 14,300 points to level up again. Why 14,300? That's strange. I'm sure all the other ones so far have been nice round numbers, but that one... is not. Give me your flag. I'll have the flag, thanks. The flag is ours. Now we have to fight them off before they take it off us. I bore the standard for our king. Um, why am I attacking my own guys, actually? <laughs> I just backed off, at least. There's a barbarian here. That'll be him. That'll be him, Luke. Barbarian. Oh, who are these guys? They're phantoms! Or it's just a phantom, it's just that he can turn into three people at once. Yeah, obviously he doesn't actually turn into three people at once, but he does all stupid attacks. Like, flickering around the world, I don't know. If I do that, then I'll take out the fake ones. Quite quickly. It's kind of a cheesy way to win the battle though, isn't it? Just, where, where are you? But then, his cheesy method is to go off the screen all the time damn time. Take that. Oh, we've got some eagles. Gandalf's obviously taking his side. Gandalf the Grey. Oh wait, it's Merlin in this game, isn't it? If we attach some kind of symbolism, you know, we could always attach the King Arthur myth and Lord of the Rings together and uh, Gandalf becomes Merlin because it makes sense. Like the most powerful magician of his time. Come on, fight me. Don't hide off the screen. Gone. We killed the phantom. He's not wearing his purple suit though. Level 7 we are currently. Does that mean we're going to level up again? We're level 8 now. Oh, our armor's turned golden. At least we've seen some obvious difference this time. The expedition! Looks like we've got three sections of this stage to deal with. At least we're wearing gold armor. Because that's what we need. Armor that's even more malleable than the armor we were wearing before. Or maybe it's bronze, which still I don't think would be much good in comparison to, say, steel. Look at that, Buster S. We've got time for these people. Just take out a few of them at once. Who's this guy? Oh, it's Birdman, but he's changed his armour. It's, he's coated in the blood of his enemies. Luke Skywalker, I mean, sorry, uh, Skywalker again. Could be Anakin, you know, he's a bad guy after all. Come on. Probably is, to be honest. Look at his hair. Go away, eagle. No time for you here. Who's this guy? It's Buster S again. Dressed like Buster F because... Okay. I'm not going to complain about getting some extra gold. We're definitely filling up the war chest for Arthur, aren't we? confusing. Why, if you're going to do like a palette swap on the character at some point, why not make him a colour that there hasn't been already? For someone that looks similar? Mind you, I suppose they do that in a lot of beat maps, don't they? Although, you know, at least in like in like Streets of Rage, the, the, the signal characters or whatever, they'd be the colour that was on their suit. Who's that guy? The tall man again! Can he not learn his lesson? Well, these are falcons, by the way, not eagles. Just 
bad falcon, actually. Apparently it's a bad falcon. I'd never have guessed. I thought it was a good falcon, personally, because it's attacking me, so obviously it must be, must be a nice falcon, right? I mean, that's a silly, silly idea. Level 9. As many of my ideas are. Come on, Birdman. Back to Alcatraz with you. There we go. He escaped from Alcatraz Island only to be beaten up by a knight with a big axe. Two Skywalkers. to your lightsabers, guys. And he doesn't even know how to use the force. Up and down, up and down. Ball bars. <laughs> oh my word. He's like a bear guy. Look, he's got like a bear suit on. I don't know. The good news is that actually our, our special attack fairly takes him down quite quickly. Calling your guy ball bars. Ball bar. No. Don't pronounce it that way. He's playing baseball with me. And I'm the ball. <laughs> Just crush you with that hammer. <laughs> That's the most unfeasible hammer ever. mallet in fact isn't it or a mall I suppose is what it actually is. Come on ball bars you've not got long left now. See you're dead. One more hit. And I'll eat more chicken than a man ever seen. There we go. Uh, we got a time bonus of 4420 points. Total of 20,000 points. And we have leveled up once again. With no discernible difference. <laughs> Knights in a strange land! What's so strange about it? Knowing the way the levels have gone so far, it just looks like every other place we've been so far. But it's dark. Is that why it's a strange land? We've got, we've got archers now. But they're just barbarians. Barbarian archers. Hey, we leveled up again? Wow, that last uh, mission obviously gave us a lot of points. There we go. Dealt with. Let's go. Oh, it's the tall man again. No spiky orbs of death, though. He'll hide off the screen until... Uh, so we let him keep up with us. He's almost dead though. There we go. And one hit and he's done. There's Buster S again. See, now he's in his red suit again. In his original red suit. It's almost like the character names were programmed wrongly or something. Oh, we got tigers again. Why do you have to send mad tigers against me? Mad as an angry or as in mentally anguished, I don't um, that's not quite the right phrase, is it? It's an angry tiger. His health was like Oh no, it was higher than I thought it was. I'm sure it looked like it was right at the bottom of the bar initially. Oh here they come, the magicians are out. What are you gonna do? that. Oh, we've got some other bad guys now. Who's this? I guess this is another Buster. Didn't see his name. Buster S again. Why did they have a Buster F? If every other different coloured Buster is going to be Buster S. That doesn't make sense. Oh, he's, he, was out, he was out of puff there for a minute. I'll give him a break. There we go. 
They were just sitting around, just lounging around, waiting for me. Didn't do them much good, but they were. Oh, we've got on to different items that we can smash up to get points. Now instead of just chests, which it's been throughout the game, now we've got uh, flaming torches. Are these Buster S as well? No, these are Buster F. What's the difference? Is it is it the spiky? One sec. 